we have identified 644 new cases of COVID-19 in Alberta. There are now almost 8,000 active cases in the province. Currently, there are 192 people in hospital with COVID-19, including 39 in intensive care. As I've said, it is vital that we protect the health system. These numbers are concerning and we are considering what further steps may be needed. We are confirming the exact figure, but about 13,000 tests were conducted yesterday with a positivity rate of approximately 5%. Sadly, I must report that there have been seven new deaths. I extend my deepest condolences to anyone who is grieving today. Each death is a loss for our community and a reminder of the importance of containing community transmission. We cannot simply dictate where and when this virus will spread. We all need to protect each other. Turning to schools, as of today, there are active alerts or outbreaks in 285 schools. That is about 12% of the schools in the province. Currently, these schools have 911 active cases in total. This number includes 57 schools that are currently on the watch list. So far, in-school transmission has likely occurred in 123 schools. Of these, about half have had only one new case occur as a result. Rising numbers also make it more challenging to participate in some of our upcoming traditions safely, but we can still honour these traditions with some changes this year. Today I want to recognise Remembrance Day and Diwali, both of which are coming up this week. Remembrance Day is on Wednesday. I know this is an important and solemn time where we come together to honour sacrifice. While ceremonies and tributes will look different this year due to COVID-19, we can still commemorate this day while protecting one another. A number of annual large-scale events throughout the province have moved to a virtual format, and many legions will be holding smaller gatherings for their members. I encourage you to participate virtually if possible. For those organizing ceremonies or events this week, please respect gathering limits both indoor and outdoors. And remember, smaller is better right now. In Alberta, like some other uh, places around the world, we implemented measures very quickly in the spring. And because of how quickly we acted, we really didn't see significant spread here. We, we saw uh, nowhere near the numbers of hospitalizations that we could have seen. And in some ways, I think that we are a victim of that success. So what, again, what we know about COVID is that it can um, grow very quickly, that the transmission rates can change within a matter of, of weeks and it can take off. Uh, so the earlier that we put in measures, the lower we can contain it. But we also know that the measures that we put in place have to be effective, not just based on the evidence of what measures work best, but also based on what measures we can um, work together with Albertans on. And so I think that if we had uh, been able to do different measures sooner, it could have changed our trajectory. And on the other hand, I'm not sure that uh, putting things in place that would have had significant impacts on the other aspects of people's health at an earlier point in time would have actually succeeded in having Albertans come alongside us and accept those measures. It is a delicate balance and we do need to make sure that, again, whatever measures we're putting in place, they balance the impacts of COVID, the impacts of the restrictions, and that they will be effective in having the majority of Albertans accept them and uh, put them into practice in their daily lives. If you were in Edmonton or Calgary, please do not plan to host anyone at your home who does not live with you. And please do not attend a gathering at a home where you do not live. Outside the home, keep your gatherings as small as possible and no more than 15 in total when in any area of the province on enhanced precautions. Connect with others virtually whenever possible. Please wear a mask whenever you are in close contact with anyone not from your cohort, especially while you are indoors. And I need to stress that if you are sick with even mild symptoms, you need to stay home and attend virtually or celebrate in private. 
I, like many others, am extremely concerned by the spread that we are seeing. This weekend, we saw a daily record for new cases reported on Saturday, followed by high numbers on Sunday and today. Although the last few days have been a bit lower, we expect some variation from day to day, and we have not yet turned the corner that we must turn. Cases continue to rise, and if we do not bend the curve back soon, we may see further surgeries being postponed or other impacts on health services. I want to end today by speaking directly to those people who feel they are not at risk right now. After eight months, I know that some people have let their guard down, often because they have not personally contracted the virus and they don't know anyone who has either. Why take extra precautions? Why limit what you do when you have not gotten sick? I understand the fatigue and frustration and the desire to go back to the old normal. But COVID-19 does not play favorites. It is in every part of our province. Every community has been touched by it. We've seen this virus spread from one case to dozens in a few days and from a few hundred to almost a thousand in a week. If you have not gotten sick and if you don't know anyone who has, then you must do everything possible to keep it that way. We all have a role to play in suppressing transmission, and together we have the power to lower our case counts. We all must seize the opportunity presented to us. We are strongest when we all work together.